hyperinflation, meat shortages, low stock on all your different supplies, your canned goods, your everyday use stuff, the national debt, $27 trillion and counting. What is going on, folks? What are you doing to be prepared? How are you going to get around a lot of these different things? Now you all been to your local grocery stores. I'm sure you probably walked down your meat aisle and you looked and you see that, wow, there ain't much here. You do have a few things to choose from, but you got to go take a loan out of the bank if you want to buy some of it. You go down your canned good aisles and everything. Everything is fronted. Everything has a front nowadays. It's no longer to make everything look neat. They got to make it look full. When all reality, the shelves are empty. They put one can in front of everything. To make it look like, wow, this place is really full. But when you really look down and look behind, wow, this place is really empty, right? I mean, come on. This is what's going on, folks. There is a supply shortage somewhere along the lines. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. Yes, we all do know that they are that they are having issues with getting products from point A to point B, whether it be truck drivers, supply chain issues, uh, if it's coming over by ship, if it's being shipped by train, they've started slowdowns on all this different kind of stuff. Okay. Hence the reason why you want to be prepping now. Because really, there's not a lot in the stores to choose from. Now, maybe in some of your areas, you do have a nice variety to still pick from. And if you do, well, then there's no reason for you to sit there and not be prepping and putting away for a rainy day because the floods are coming, folks. Read between the lines of what I'm saying. There's a lot of stuff that's going on and it's all going to come back around and it's going to all get us. Now, I don't want to sit here and I'm not being a bearer of bad news and I'm not trying to bring anybody down on them. I'm not trying to upset people and I'm not trying to scare you. What I am trying to do is make you aware of what is going on and why you need to be prepping and adding to your stockpile if you're starting out prepping, why you got to be prepping, folks? Hyperinflation. All right. Usually hyperinflation. What does that mean? Well, hyperinflation is when they start raising the price 50% or more over what the original cost was. Hence, oh, almost lost it. The Keystone Beef. Now, a few weeks ago, three to be exact, I went on to Amazon. All right. And I was shopping on Amazon and they had these cans. Their regular price at $4.97 a can. This is the 14 ounce ground beef. All right. So I was like, hey, I like that deal. So I bought me quite a few cans. Pretty glad I did because as of today, do you know how much this can cost? Go right ahead. Put it in the comments below what you think this can costs, and I'll tell you at the end of this video. But what I'm trying to get across to you is the hyperinflation. Is just out of control all right they have cars are going through the roof used cars are just like insane you know homes and everything else uh, a lot of the neighborhoods and stuff you already start seeing and flip their signs you know oh you can build this new home for two hundred thousand dollars now that was you know a month or two ago now it's all oh, you can build this new home for upper 300s so what they just raised it another hundred and twenty five to hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the same house? What are you kidding me? What'd you throw in? A pool, jacuzzi, and a steam room? Come on. I want a wet bar. But you get what I'm saying here, folks. All right? This stuff is getting out of control. Car parts can't, you know, for certain cars, they can't get them. They're having problems getting things to make electronics for like notebooks and those type of things. For kids going back to school, they don't have all the parts to put it all together. You can build it here. But remember, most of all the parts that go into all our electronics come from over there. And they can't get it from over there to over here. What do we do? You have to plan. All right? Got to have a plan in place. 
So the hyperinflation is going to kill us. So I would suggest that people really start paying attention. You need to start paying attention to whatever type of news you like to listen to or read. All right, you want to go online, you want to read articles, you have certain news sources that you'd like to do or watch, listen to, podcast, whatever, so be it. Keep yourself informed on what is going on. Don't trust the government to come out and tell you, hey, look, you know, we have a problem. They're not going to do that, folks. It doesn't work that way. We're the peasants. We are told when it's a little too late. So that's why you want to make sure that you're being prepared. Now, let's talk about the whole debt ceiling thing. You know, we're 27, almost pushing $28 trillion in debt. And what? They want to add another $3.5 trillion on top of the $1 trillion that they just did. For what? I'm telling you, folks, we're going broke. Because somewhere along the line, all these people got to pay for it. The government, just like the stores are, are all fronting everything that's going on. Think about this. All right. The economy's doing well. Businesses and stuff have all been reporting record sales. Why is that? Oh, wait. Was that all the stimulus money that they sent out? <clears throat> and everybody went out and, well, I shouldn't say everybody because I put mine in the rating day fund. But anyways, a lot of people went out and they bought up all this stuff that they probably didn't even need. New TVs, new iPhone. Oh, God, I got to have the top of the line. You know, all this kind of stuff, new furniture, whatever it may be. And that stimulated the economy. Problem. Think about it. Think outside the box. The government gave you the money. You didn't work for it as far as going to work and making the money and then spending it. The government gave you the money to spend at these corporations so the government can turn around and say, Wow, look at that. Sales are up. Think about it, folks. It's all fronts. It's what they want. They're no different than the stores. They're no different than any type of anything that's going on nowadays between all the housing market, the stores, the supply chains, the way the government is running everything. They're running it all into the ground. And we're all doomed to pay for it one way or another. So this is what you got to be doing. If you see good deals on your meat and stuff, buy it, freeze it, put it in your vacuum sealer, freeze dry it, whatever you got to do, you know, put it in the freezer. Canned goods. If you have an area where you can get canned goods, start stocking up on canned goods. Any type of canned goods, start stocking up on canned goods. You may, depending on what type of vehicle you do have, maybe stock up on a few parts that are prone to break. Belts, hoses, oil, uh, buy oil for it, oil filters, air filters, because a lot of this stuff could be coming in high demand and cost you a lot more as we come into the winter months. Yes, winter is just rolling around the corner, but hey, what do you expect this is how it works when the winter rolls around and everything else is still going on as far as you know who. Well, what are they going to do? Are we looking at more lockdowns? Who knows? Are they going to try to mandate some of the little, um, well, who knows that either? Are they going to try to make it to where you can't do anything without a little card stating that you got the, you know what I'm saying? We don't know where this is going, so you need to be prepared. As far as anything else, you need to make sure that you have a nice variety of stock in your home that you can fall back onto from anything, from any type of medicines that you take, emergency supplies, 
food, water, batteries, backups, different ways to cook, whatever it may be, different ways to heat your home, different ways to cool your home. You have to think outside the box, folks. You need to be prepared because the hyperinflation, the meat shortages, the low stock, the $27 trillion in debt that we are is only going to get worse in the near future. Look at all the analysts. All these top investors and everything else are warning that the bubble is about to burst. And they're saying, go online and do your own research, that when the bubble burst, it's going to make the Great Depression look like a walk in the park. So I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And thank you for joining me on this video today. In the can of Keystone beef, ground beef, $14.97, 200% increase. There you go, folks. If you catch a deal, buy it. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.